Hi Pisces, it's Elle here to do your October 2018 general reading. It's a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Piscean person who views the video. But if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Uh, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Pisces, or whoever wants to view. Okay. Let's get started. Let's see what's going on for Pisces for October. 2018. Bottom of the deck, the Hermit card. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. Or some of you have gained that spiritual clarity, enlightenment by way of your know, self-reflection, uh, seeking out what it means, what whatever it is for you, whatever a situation means for you. Also looking at past experience and trying to marry what you've done in the past but what you're going to do right now um and see where you went wrong and see what was right it's just a heavy energy of self-reflection introspective and, and and drawing away from people so that you can make a clear and concise decision about you filling in the blank okay six of cups just kept popping out off camera for you eight of cups Temperance, Two of Cups. Some of you you've gone inward to, to figure out if you want to abandon one one position, one uh, one path for another. You feel like some other relationship completes you. It is solid. It is stable. It is balancing. It is heavenly. It could You could even feel like it's like some type of twin flame energy. I really don't get into that. We got the Six of Cups, Soulmate, Temperance, and the Two of Cups. You feel very heavily. You feel very heavy about this person. It could be another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, like yourself. It could be a Sagittarius or a Virgo. It doesn't have to be. It could be anyone, but definitely a lot of emotional fulfillment. A lot of balancing here. A lot of feeling as if you found your better half in another person feeling as if you can move forward and have a lot of victory with this situation feeling like the lack of um emotional fulfillment with another situation is gone it, it you found your everything okay Some of you, you you hesitate to move forward or to abandon one path for another because there are children involved. But at the same time, you can't deny how you feel and what you feel and who you want and what you want your life to be like. This is a person from your past or someone you've been dealing with or knowing for a long time. Well, this is a, yeah. Let's see what Pisces should be focused on going forward. Everybody's getting this card gracefully aging inside and outside of course it's about the beauty regimen or lack thereof or the aesthetics it's also about the inside the inside the hermit going within and, and figuring out what you've done in the past gracefully aging also talks about maturity maturity um, emotional maturity mental maturity gracefully aging with age comes wisdom are you gracefully aging? You know, that's something for you to, you know, are you still doing and saying the things you did at 20 years old? You know, or 19 and you're 50, gracefully aging. Or eating the things or not taking care of yourself. You, you know, you have to, be, you know, it's here. It's here for you to think about. Leaving, we see that here with the Eight of Cups. We see... Um, maybe Pisces or another person Pisces is dealing with is abandoning one 
position to go to another decisions yeah definitely have to decide what are you doing are you moving are you are you leaving let's see bottom of the deck everybody's getting this one too family changes see this is the 10th month october this is the culmination of you fill in the blank this is the ten of swords this is the ten of wands this is the ten of cups this is the ten of pentacles ten of pentacles people are concerned about uh long-term stability uh ultimate happiness who or what brings that for them they're concerned about uh ending situations with the ten of swords they're concerned about ten of wands how they've spread themselves thin or what they've been carrying in regards to themselves or other people for a very long time and it's the ten so it's the the culmination of am i am i dropping it or am i going to continue to carry it am i going to end this am i going to actually go after my happiness Am I going to get solid and stable about uh, long-term stability uh, financially, um, uh, tangibly, you know, monet what's the other word I'm looking for? Materially, like your assets, and I, you know, it's just everybody is getting this family change. It's moving away from a home, um, entering a home, exiting a home, separation, divorce, welcoming a baby, uh, baby news, um, buying a dog. I mean, family changes is so many different things. I mean, that's just, you could just keep naming stuff. Selling a home, buying a home, leaving it could be, um, physically, it could be emotionally and mentally leaving a situation behind making a decision to do so. Because you feel as if you have something that is blessed by the heavens that you two were brought together. It could be, you know, a creative endeavor, trust. So if you have questions out there, here are your answers. Trust. Perfect timing in the near future. Temperance talks about perfect timing and patience. In the near future, ooh, at the bottom of the deck, romance. Pisces, you have the best reading thus far that I've done today. This is absolutely beautiful. I hope that all this comes true for you. Oh, that you make the decision to move forward or stay or whatever it is you, you're doing. But trust that in perfect timing, um, in your near future, you, you're going to have romance. <laughs> I don't know. You're going to have everything that that is due to you karmically. So, uh, Pisces, if you feel like this reading resonated with you, like, share, comment, subscribe. Definitely click that like button. Uh, go over to my website, book a personal reading for yourself. Uh, see what, you know, is coming for you. See if this is for you. All right, uh, Pisces, I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care, guys.